You are watching the Big Dog Post Game Show, brought to you by Viner Four Gates and the Big Dog himself, Rick Jacklich at the Jacklich Law Group. Welcome to part two of the Big Dog Post Game Show on the Gossett deck after Maryland's big win over Princeton. And boy, we're looking forward to going to Hempstead, New York at Hofstra for next Saturday. Now, special, joining us, Bruce, our lacrosse maven himself. Bruce, what did you see? I know you weren't at the game. The perspective's a little different. What did you see that we didn't see at home? All right, Wayne, as usual, great job on a great game by Maryland. Wow. Nobody expected this. 16 to 8. And believe me, it wasn't that close. <clears throat> the Terps just came out on a mission. And Wayne, you begin to wonder if that loss last week to uh, Penn State gave them a couple extra days to prepare. They made some changes. They uh, beefed up the uh, attack. They played more guys. They had Malover running in, uh, like in, off the midfield and doing great things. And a great start by Danny Kelly. And wow, 11 to 3 at halftime. Are you kidding me? The rest of the game was a snooze. It was never a game. Uh, great job by Logan Bankney. Real quick, uh, Maryland faceoffs. I mean, look, look, Luke won 20 out of 26. The team won uh, uh, tw 21 out of 28. <laughs> Luke Wehrman, you were uh, you were Luke Wehrman. You were spectacular today. The scoreboard says you won 21 to 28. Like that, Anything that was a secret today to that success? <laughs> Uh, I mean, I'd just say it's a preparation we put in this week, honestly. We got a great look from our scout team all week. Um, you know, just the game plan for the, throughout the whole week was really uh, really good, and we just stuck to that all game, really. And we just, you know, kind of adjusted to whatever they threw at us. All right. A lot of Turk fans want to know when you break free and the Fogo's trailing you, when do you decide to shoot or pass? Uh, I got to got to do a little bit better job of just reading that defense and just kind of understanding, you know, if they're sliding to me or not, and then just, you know, listening to the, the attacking. All right. Yeah. Well, congratulations. We'll see you in New York yeah. next weekend. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Appreciate it. But uh, ground balls, they won. Clears, they were perfect. It was never a game. And everybody, Princeton was a favorite. Can you imagine this? After Maryland has beaten them four straight times in the past few years, Princeton was a favorite. I mean, I, I'm I'm blown away by how great they were, how great Ajax was. Parkatera made him the player of the game, and Chris Cotter, and he, he deserved it. Uh, he took all Mackesy and really shut him down. When Mackesy scored, it was against, you know, uh, off of a switch or whatever. But Ajax was just great. Just a dynamite game, and now we got Duke. All right, now we got Duke. All right, the great Brennan O'Neill. He's going to learn about Ajax Apatella and what a game that'll be. Look, Duke's a great team, number two seed. Maryland's number seven. Tillman's only lost one quarterfinal as Maryland coach. We'll see what happens next week, Wayne. Going to be a big one up in Long Island. Wayne, back to you, buddy. All righty. Thanks, Bruce. Great insight. Like I said, we're going to do this all again after the Maryland Duke game on Saturday. The season continues for the Maryland Terrapins. We will see you then. Thanks for watching the Big Dog Post Game Show. I'm Wayne Viner. That was Bruce Posner. Mason is away from the camera this evening. Good evening from College Park.